Welcome to my YouTube channel. Tonight, I'm going to be doing an art show. As I said, I do art shows every Tuesday. So tonight's art show is a Valentine's Day gift ideas because it's Valentine's very soon. So I thought I'll do one with you guys tonight. So what you need to make this Valentine's gift is a photo frame, which I've already opened. You will need some colored tape, some spray paint, some scissors, and you'll need some really cool paper. So if you do do these gift ideas I do on my channel, please let me know down below on my art shows. I would love to see them. Take some photos, send them to my Twitter account so I can sh give you a shout out on your YouTube channel. So please do that if you like to. It's up to you. So that is what I'm doing tonight. I'm just turning on the fan because it's a bit warm in here. So yeah. I hope you guys have had a good day. Um, my day has been very busy um, as well. Now, this didn't come like what I bought today was so cheap, guys. Now, the photo frame was $2. The tape was marked down to $2 and the spray paint was 5 So, it's really good prices and um, $9 is such a good deal. So, yeah. So, what I've done so far is take the frame off the bottom of this. And now I'm taking the cardboard off as well. So this is the thing I don't need. And I will need that there and I'm going to cut the shape I need. So you have to pull this out to do that. You need some sticky tape. Definitely you need some sticky tape. So you need some sticky tape. And I'll show you why. So the paper I'm going to be using because it's for Valentine's Day is something to do with red. But I thought any colour really, does it doesn't really matter. I do have red and I do have green, I do have blue, but I do have a bright red. So I'm going to use a bright red with mine. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So what you do is you grab the piece of paper and you pop it down like that. You won't be able to see. There. And um, that's what you do. So there's the piece of paper on the thing on the um with the frame so yeah i've got to grab a pen guys and what you say okay so now i'm going to do the shape i need in the frame like that so that is what I need so then there we go now I'll need the scissors and that's why you need scissors and I'm going to use the scissors to cut the shape out So there it is. So now you put the piece of cardboard back into the frame like that. Actually, it's this way, wasn't it? So yeah, just like that. Then you pop the red paper in as well. So you pop that on the top like that. Grab some sticky tape so you can stick the paper in place. And you probably need um, quite a bit of tape so it doesn't fall off. If you can hear some guinea pigs in the background, it's my little boy Teddy. He's talking to his sister Sylvie. Or we might need some more tape. Okay. 
Okay. Then you grab the back of the frame to put back in. And that is what it's supposed to come out like that. How cool is that? So now, after that, you won't need any sticky tape or scissors. You will need some coloured tape. But before you use the coloured tape, make sure you have an adult with you at all times. Sorry, I'm just going to put the camera close to me. Make sure you have an adult with you at all times if you're using a pair of scissors. So yeah. So I'm going to use some coloured tape. I'm going to use the red and I'm going to use the nice green. I think they're really cool Valentine colours. So that is what I'm using. And the cool thing about it, you get so much coloured tape. It's just so cool. Then you grab the scissors to cut the tape out. You won't need that tape now. Do some, the same thing on this side. So that's so far what I've done, which I'm going to move the camera again so you can watch what I'm doing. So yeah, now I'm going to do the same thing on that side by grabbing some more red tape. So I'm going to put red tape on this side by putting it onto the glass frame and make sure you cut it to the size you need so you don't have so much tape that you don't need there. Okay, so then I won't need that guys. But I could probably do a bow or whatever with it later. Okay, so that's all I need for the red tape. So I pop that away. Now I would need the blue tape. Now this tape is so nice guys, look at that, beautiful. Okay, so you're going to pop it inside the frame and you're going to cut the edges you don't need there again. So that's what I'm doing. And the same thing again on the next side. So then you use the scissors and you cut the excess off again and use the scissors and you cut the X off again. So that's what I want. That looks nice, hey guys. Okay, so after that part, you won't need this tape. So you can throw it in the bin or you can keep it. It's up to you. I'm just going to throw it out. So yeah, so I don't need this tape anymore. So I pop the tapes back in. I'm going to have to turn the fan off for this spray paint. I don't know how long it takes to dry. Um, it's a water-based paint. Spray quickly. Quickly and color. Just try to color projects. Okay. All prints. Okay. Just... Now, because it's a Valentine's frame, I'm going to be... No, not that one. 
sorry. I'm going to be using the silver spray paint. So I'm going to turn off the fan just in case because I don't know, I don't want, you know, I have guinea pigs in here too. I don't know how it works. I've never done this before, so bear with me. So I really want to do is spray the frame. Maybe you have to open it first. Okay. Maybe shake it first. Now I just don't want to get this area inside, but if it happens, it happens, but it's nothing to stress about. It's just glitter, but okay. Now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not use this. <laughs> It's got a really big smell. I think I probably should use that outside or in the garage or something. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to finish, like, just grab a brush and just whatever. Um, yeah. uh, so I'm going to... Anyway. Guys, I won't be sick. I know I shouldn't be using a fork. Um, that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to go like this with the paint. So it does dry. Okay. So. It's very strong, very strong. So I shouldn't have used it. Anyway, so now I'm just going to use some tape instead to decorate the frame. So what I want to do, because that doesn't really look good for me, I'm going to put sticky tape over the paint. Because the smell is just too strong for me. So I think it's an outside door garage thing. <laughs> I'm going to just turn on the light. Let's turn on the light, the fan, and I'm going to pop the tape on top of the paint. Oh no, maybe I should have done that either. Anyway, it will dry, of course. Now this might not work guys because you've just put paint on, so it might not work. But, I don't know, it probably will. But it's actually making a really cool um, effect on my frame. You can see the little bubblies on it. It's really, like, really nice. Just pop some paper here. Alright. Okay. Now, I might grab some sticky tape and pop that on top for, like, a clear coat. So I'm thinking about doing that. So I'm just going to put some tape on this side. And then just cut the edge off with some scissors that I don't need. And I'll just need a little bit just to finish this side. Okay, now I'm going to put the clear tape on top of this one. Now this should work because it's tape. If I can get the tape I 